Hi and welcome back to LaTeX in 100 seconds. Let's start with the first example. Let's say we want to add a date here in our document. We can say my date, then we add the number of the date. The first way we, that we have to add a superscript is to use this command here. Backward slash text superscript th in within curly braces, which is the text that we are going to actually want to be superscript, and then we're going to say the month. And you're going to see here the date. Another option that we have uh, is to use the math mode. In this case, we're going to use instead the dollar symbol, a caret, and you must put everything that you want to be in the superscript in within curly braces. Let's recompile the document and let's see the differences. As you can see, it almost looks the same, but this th here, because we use the math mode, is italicized. So how can we fix that? Inside the curly braces, we need to use the command mathrm. This is going to make sure that the text is not italicized. As usual, all my source code will be down in the video description. So this one looks exactly as the previous one with the command text superscript. Of course, we can also add subscript text using the following, the same logic as before. But in this case, we have to use either the command text subscript or instead, if you want to use the math mode, in this case, instead of a caret, we are going to use an underscore. So here, as you can see, we have an underscore and then we are going to say within curly braces, here. We have the same problem as before, but we can solve that using the math remove command. We can also, of course, use subscript and superscript inside math equations. Which, let's have this equation which calculates the convective heat transfer coefficient. So we can see that this is a block equation. If you want to find out more on how to add block equation or how to number equation, I have another video on this. Please uh, click on the card that is going to appear at the end of the video. Here we can see that we are adding a number, so 8.6. Then we have V. And then we have uh, the underscore, underscore R. This is going to be putting R as a subscript. And then we have uh, the caret of 0.53 and we have at the top 0.53. Then we have P, and then even if we invert the order, this is not going to change anything. So we can say first the subscript text, and then after we can see this, we can write the subscript text. This is not going to affect the final outcome. And of course we can change that, but as long as we keep all the text in within the curly braces. If you have only one item, either as a subscript or as superscript, you don't need to put the curly braces. So as you can see here, when we are saying x to the power of 3, we can just say x caret 3. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you find this video interesting. If you did, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And see you next time.